What is up guys, Max here and welcome back to another quick and easy Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create this like glowy night looking photo of a shoe. See the glow lines? Here is the original. And when we're done with it, it's gonna look just like this. Now, as always, before we get started, be sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all the videos. You can also jump down to the description to check out the Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. And if you like this song you're currently listening to, you can sign up for a 30-day free trial to Epidemic Sound, so you can also have access to really awesome music for your own videos. Let's get started. Okay, so we've opened up the base photo inside of Photoshop. As always, you can download this photo from unsplash.com. It's completely for free. I'll leave a link down below. So download it, let's get started. Now, as always, I like to take the background of this photo and just copy the background right here. Um, leave the background unchecked, the eyeball off, just in case we mess something up, we can always draw back to the beginning and start over. Now what you wanna do is actually take this background copy and we want to actually make it look like it's at nighttime to start off. So right click background, do convert to smart object, and then go to filter, camera raw filter, which opens up the really awesome camera raw filter features and we can actually change the background color. So let's bring the temperature down a little bit, a little blue, clarity up a little bit, uh, exposure down some, to give it a little bit more of a nighttime tone, the blue of night, and then click OK. From here, we want to zoom in, hold Control plus on your keyboard or Command plus to zoom in, and hold Space Bar to actually go and start drawing some shapes and lines and stuff. So in other words, go to your toolbar over here on the left. If you don't see the toolbar, hit Window and then Tools. Opens up Tools, no problem. Then grab the Shape tool right here. Now, I have it set up here to Fill turned off and stroke turned off. So we can add, we can actually draw a shape out without any issues. So let's go ahead and start drawing this shape. So grab it right here and then, and then drag it out, drag it out, drag it out, and just kind of quickly draw this shape. As you can see, I'm doing this live. It's not taking very long. I'm kind of overlapping a little bit too, no big deal. What you can do now is start drawing the next shape. So grab this down here, grab this, really long gaping lines just to do it very quickly. If you're doing this for a piece or a client, you may want to take your time and do this exact as the shoe is displayed um, so you don't mess up. But I'm doing this quick for tutorial purposes so we can get this over with and get back to work. Right on, right on. Now my shapes are drawn. Now what we can do is grab shape one and go to fill and turn it white. Grab shape two, go to fill and turn it white. Now we have our shapes. Now what we need to do is actually add the glow that we saw in the last uh, piece, very beginning, to the shapes. So grab shape one, go to layer, layer style, outer glow. Now my outer glow is preset like this. Yours is not gonna look like this. So make sure your outer glow color right here is set to 00D2FF as mine or the RGB 0210255 or whatever glow you decide to go with. I just think in this case, blue looks really, really good. And then what we can do is actually take the spread, make it 11, take the size, make it 172. And that'll be exactly like mine, which is good. Then what you wanna do is turn on the inner glow right here. Click on this. Now do the same thing. The blue is set right here. My blue is a little different and then the original right here. Uh, RGB is right here too. You can copy these numbers right here. Click OK. Make sure your choke size, range, and jitter are all the same as mine. And then click OK. We've added the glow. No big deal. Now right click effects, go to copy layer style, grab shape two, right click, and then paste layer style. Looking pretty good so far. Now grab shape one, take, take the blending mode and turn it to overlay. Grab shape two, take the blending mode and turn it to overlay. Now they're overlaid on the shape. Now to grab <laughs> the shoe. Now grab shape one, drag it down to the plus icon to copy it. Grab shape two, drag it down to the plus icon to copy it. And then grab shape one, copy. Let's take the opacity down to about 50%. Grab shape two, copy. Take the opacity down to about 50%. Great, this is looking good so far. Um, now what we wanna do is actually grab shape two all the way down to shape one and hit the folder icon at the bottom to kind of throw them all in a folder, just to organize things. Then hi highlight uh, group one and background copy, right click, and then do convert to smart object. Uh, turn the background on just so we can see it in the future. Let's zoom out a little bit by holding control minus on our keyboard or command minus on a Mac, and then go to filter and then camera raw filter. 
Okay, first things first in camera raw filter, what we're gonna do is go to effects and then increase the grain. Good bit, I like a lot of grain. Now let's jump over to basic, um, bring the temperature down by about negative 10. Bring the clarity up by about 48, really punches it up a lot more, and then bring the saturation down by about 28, so negative 28, and then click OK. As you can see, we've made this glowing shoe photo that is eerily similar to the last one. Now, if we turn off group one, we can see the original, turn on group one, see the new piece. Now you have a glowing shoe. It kind of blends in, Look, it looks pretty good. And that's it. As always guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.